We meet again. This time it's for the Astrolux FT-02 flashlight. Now, this is a flashlight that is built for throw, and a lot of throw. It features a XHP35 high intensity emitter, which it drives at 2200 lumens on turbo. And this gives it a throw of 850 meters. It has an intense hotspot and it lights up things a long way away. It takes a 21700 battery, which it's really designed for, but it can also take 18650 batteries because it includes an adapter for that, so, and they work fine. It has built-in micro USB charging if you don't want to charge your battery separately, and it works very well. And it has a regulated output, which I find really important. By regulated output, I mean that it achieves 2200 lumens and that 850 throw regardless of the battery level. So if the battery is 50% discharged, it's not a dimmer light. It still maintains that high output. By the way, check out the video description for links to the light at the manufacturer's site, my written review, and any discounts available. Just to show you the USB slot here, you just pull back the flap there. The light is waterproof to IPX7, so that flap works fairly well. Uh, expose the micro USB port when you're done charging, just pop the flap back in, and you're done. And the USB charging charged right to 4.2 volts, so it worked very well. While it's charging, that light will flash green, and when it's done, it'll turn solid. Just to show you here what you get, you get a very nice box. It's very well protected flashlight. You get a, a bag with a manual, a lanyard, and some spare O-rings. You also get an adapter for an 18650 battery. Now this uh, will turn your 18650 essentially into a 21700. The adapter is a little plastic thing. Stick it on the negative end of your battery, and uh, then just plop the battery into the flashlight and you're done. Now I'll show you the user interface here, but keep in mind this is a pre-production version of the light and I understand they're still working on the driver and some changes to it. So the final version may have an improved user interface. Mine is fairly simple. You just click it to turn it on and then cycle through four different modes from one lumen up to 2200 lumens. And a long press will turn off the light. Double clicking the switch from either on or off will immediately put the light into turbo. And that's a very must-have feature for me because I'm really only using these kind of long throw lights on turbo. Now, if you're one that actually uses strobes, you can get to those with a triple click, and that'll put you into a fast strobe. Another click will put you into an SOS signal, and another click will put you into a beacon mode. I personally don't find strobes of that much interest, so I'm kind of glad they're on a triple click so I won't accidentally hit them. The final version of the light is also supposed to have quadruple clicks, quintuple clicks, sextuple clicks for different things such as a momentary mode, locking out the light, and things like that. My version though doesn't have those features, but it does do a lockout if you press and hold the switch for a couple of seconds when it's off. Now, those of you that are interested in this light probably already have a light, something like a uh, C8, like an Astrolux C8 or a Convoy C8. And those are great small lights with have very good throw. This light you can see has a much larger diameter lens and that allows it to throw quite a bit more. Plus it's a higher output light. All in all, it has three times the throw, well, three times the Lux as a Convoy C8 and uh, about twice the Lux as the Astrolux C8. Now to show you what that looks like in reality, here's a shot of some trees about 300 meters away. The Convoy C8 is on the left, and the Astrolux FT-02 is on the right. You can clearly see the FT-02 really blows away the Convoy. Now here to just show you the beam profile of this light. As you could expect, it is a very throwy light with a small intense hot spot with uh, some spill that is quite usable out to you know quite a bit distance around you. The further you're throwing this light, the hot spot tends to look a little bit larger. So for large distances, like one or 200 meters, it doesn't really look like that small a hotspot. It still gives you a fairly wide area there to view. I think that's because you tend to be peering out so far. You tend to be focused on a small area. So it doesn't really give you tunnel vision, I find. It's, you know, as long as you're using it at long distances. But this is obviously not a light to be using at close distances. If you're, you know, within say 50 meters, you're probably better with uh, an everyday carry light. And here, just to show you that comparison with a popular budget everyday carry light, the 
BLF A6 on full power. Uh, you can see here the BLF A6, I'm sh showing it there. It's, it's a much dimmer but wider beam compared to the Astrox FT02. Okay, let's go over the pros and cons for this light. This light has a lot of pros. I really like it. It makes the, what I thought were very good throwers, the Convoy C8 and Astrolux C8, it makes them seem almost wimpy by comparison. This is a really bright light and throws out an amazing distance. And that's that's really what you're looking for in this light. It, it, it's a very well-designed light. It's solid construction. The ergonomics are very good. The knurling, there's good knurling on the body to give you good grip. I really like that it has a regulated output which means that it maintains the full output of 2200 lumens all the time at all battery discharge level. It has an efficient driver, so the light will run a long time. It's, it's not an inefficient driver like, uh, like an FET driven lights. The USB charging is, is handy to have. Not everybody wants to charge their batteries in their light, but for those that do, it's very convenient. I like the illuminated side switch. It's easy, it makes it easy to find in darkness because the light is completely black. And so when you're looking for the light, you really need something there to tell you where the switch is. And finally, I like that it has an adapter for 18650 cells. Not everybody's going to want to upgrade to the new 21700 cells. So it's really nice to include the adapter and it works well on 18650 cells. As far as the cons go for this light, I found it hard to come up with some. I would adjust the thermal controls to kick in a little bit later, let the light get a bit hotter before uh, kicking it down a notch in brightness in order to maintain uh, safe levels. But um, other than that, I can really only say maybe the user interface could use a few improvements, but the final production version is going to see some improvements, so I can't really comment on that. Okay guys, if you've made it this far in the video, I thank you for watching it all, and uh, we'll see you again next time.